Here's a couple of really useful techniques you can use if you want to highlight areas. I have a satellite layer, and on top of that, I've got a layer that's got golf courses in it. So in the golf course layer, if we look at the symbology in the layer properties, I've got inverted polygons on, and the inverted polygon symbology fills in everything apart from the area. So if I, if I was to change this back to single symbol and click apply, you'll see it fills in the golf course. But in this case, we want to highlight that area. So I will choose inverted polygons. Now this is really useful and there's other things you can do. So sometimes you might want to expand the boundary a little bit so that you can see just a little bit more around the edges. And you can do that using geometry generators in QGIS. So if I click on where it's a simple fill, then I can click in the symbol layer type and change it to geometry generator. And here it's a matter of typing in the correct expression. Now I can just type here because I know it, but it's often easier to type uh, within the expression window. So if I click on the expression button and you can search for expressions. And the one I want to use here is buffer. So I'll find it, double click it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in a comma after where it says geometry, and I'm gonna put in 10. So my data set's in meters. So 10 means 10 meters. And if I click okay, and then apply, you'll see what happens. Now in this case, the boundary became narrower. You might not have seen it. So let me change that to hundred and click apply. So it becomes narrower. Now you think, well, why does it become narrower if I'm doing a buffer? It's because I've got an inverted polygon on. So it's kind of back to front. So I need to put minus in if I want this to be a hundred meters wider. So I'll click apply and you can see what happens. So that's one really useful thing. Now, if I wanted to have the original boundary also showing, well, what I can do here is I can just go to where it says geometry generate up here and I can actually copy the symbol so I can duplicate it. And then in the next one, I can just change the buffer to zero and click apply. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the fill by making it transparent and clicking apply. And the last thing I'll do, so I'll make the red line boundary the boundary of the actual site. And for the buffered area, I'll make it yellow. So what we've got there is we've got a nice <coughs> inverted polygon. And we also have the ability to see everything within a 100 meter limit of the actual site we're interested in. So that's a combination of using geometry generator and inverted polygon. And hopefully you can find that useful in your own work.